from Convention Hall in Atlantic City, the 1964 Miss America pageant. Your master of ceremonies, Bert Parks, and starring from college and university campuses in every state of the Union, the 50 lovely and talented girls competing for the title of Miss America. Miss Minnesota. Barbara Phyllis Hasselberg, Miss Minnesota. Our next contestant transports us to the far Pacific as she performs three authentic dances of the South Sea Islands. First, Hawaiian, then Polynesian, and then Tahitian. Barbara Hasselberg, Miss Minnesota. Yes, sir, boy. No, he's ready. He gets you after a while, doesn't he? I'm just doing that to fill while they're moving the grass shack. Okay. Contestant is Miss Minnesota. Please come forward. Uh, we're running a little short. This is Barbara Phyllis Hesselberg. Barbara, there she is. Good evening. Good evening. I think that's a little higher for you. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you. Now, many children of uh, public officials find that they can't lead a normal life. Now, there are advantages and disadvantages of being the daughter of the mayor of Bloomington. Your father is the mayor? Yes, we're the fourth largest city in, in Minnesota. Isn't that nice? Well, tell us, what are the advantages or disadvantages of being the daughter of the mayor? Well, first of all, being a mayor's daughter is an honor because, you see, I'm very proud of my father because he has the courage of his convictions and he believes so strongly in doing the right thing just for our community that I have so much trust and faith in him that the advantages are in my proudness of him and the disadvantages are things that are so trifle that they don't even count. Just one very interesting point. Uh, Barbara took a job in an electronics plant in order to get to know people better. Did it help at all? Yes. One summer, I had to earn some money to go back to college, and I felt that I should do this on my own. And I had a very wonderful friend who was also very interested in others. And the two of us together decided to take a job in an electronics factory. And although we had calluses on our hands, I've never met so many warm, and wonderful people in my life. Thank you, Barbara Phyllis. Thank you very much.